Hello, my name is Liz Welch and I present Jewel Enamels on Jewelry Maker TV. Some Jewel Enamel enthusiasts have asked me to show you how to use fusible film with Jewel Enamels to create faux dichroic glass effects. And I'm going to do just that. Okay, so what I've got here is some diamond clear Jewel Enamels and some uh, jet black. I've also got my, my melting pot and I've got some fusible films. They come in a rainbow of colours. First of all, also I have a mould. I forgot to tell you that bit. And I have, it could be a metal tray, it could be an acrylic block or anything solid. And I've got another piece of um, Teflon mat, craft mat. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to melt some black, jet black, um, in my melting pot. And then what I need to do is I'm going to take a piece of the jewel enamel, uh, the um, fusible film. I'll take a couple of pieces. Right. Don't need the bits. What I do need is something like a kebab stick or a cocktail stick. Turn that down a bit. And I'm going to put this into the pot and it just puckers up so quickly and look at the fantastic colours that you can see just move it around a bit don't leave it in too long so we try it again and we won't leave it in as long this time I'm using the, the clear one well the clearer coloured one pull that one out oh look at that I'm going to try this one again just you don't what you don't want to do is put anything um, the metallic in the pot so that's why I'm using a cocktail stick so I'm going to do this a few times until I've used up all of the, the jewel enamels that are in the pot I may as well use them up any heat will affect the fusible film um, any significant heat like this so even if there's no jewel enamels behind it and you just heat it with a heat gun you will still get all this lovely distortion but you won't get the fabulous colors and the colors will vary depending whether you use the diamond clear in the pot like this or whether you use the black and I think you get the most vibrant vibrant colours if you use the black. So what I need to do now is I think I, well, I'll do one more and then I'm going to clear up the pot. To clean out my pot, all I do is, while it's still hot, is use um, a kitchen towel. And I'm going to put some diamond clear in my melting pot. But don't overfill the pot, certainly not with diamond clear, because um, the more you heat it, the more it will change colour and it will slowly become amber in colour. And that isn't necessarily what you want. It's fantastic if you want to make things look like amber, but not if you don't. If I just put the lid on that, it'll take a little bit less time to, um, to melt. And I'm just going to clean off my spatula to make sure that all the colour is gone. Okay, here we go. Sometimes it's good to just ease it down a little bit so that you've got more ready to pour. Okay. Oop, I think I've probably got quite a bit in there. I'll put that to one side. And I'm going to take a piece of this. In fact, I should have done this earlier. It's just cut a little bit off it. You need to do it a little bit more off. And it's going in upside down into the jewel enamels. Okay. Push it in, but you don't want it necessarily to touch the bottom quite so much. Okay. Right. So I'm going to put a bit of black in the pot. A reasonable amount. It has melted. We'll do this one first. Just a bit on the top there, and we'll do the same for this one, and we'll probably be able to do them all together. You can spread it over, just because you don't need a big, big amount, honestly. You just need enough to cover the back. Just going to go down all the little nooks and crannies. You see, I'm very messy. I'm going to put that on the top, and then we're going to press down again. 
I'm going to look this big squishy mess though. Let's see what happens. That feels as though it's almost ready to come out of the mould. So I just pull that out. Hmm, and you think, oh, that doesn't look very much. Let's see about that one. That neither does that at the moment, but wait, let's just take off the excess. Just trim off the excess. We're going to heat it up again. So when the um, jewel enamels is still just a little, uh, well, it's recently poured, it still has a little degree of flexibility. It doesn't become very brittle at this point. So it's very easy to trim with scissors. Okay, so now I'm going to take my heat gun. And I'm going to heat it again. And this will make sure that my layer, the black layer, is going to um, fix to the clear layer underneath. Now that it's gone nice and soft again, I'm going to just have another go squishing that down because I think that one could do with another squish. The whole thing to squish it with. There was a bit more that needed to come away. The other thing I like about this heat gun, this particular one, is that it's quite um, it's quite good at removing any bubbles from the, the process, from the jewel enamels, because sometimes you do get the odd bubble appear. Okay, so that I need to just let set for a minute. Remove that to one side. Okay, I think we're nearly there. I'm going to turn this out onto here. Okay, so now the really fantastic bit occurs. I'm going to heat polish this so you can really see the transformation. You can really see the fantastic fusible film that we put in there and it happens just so quickly. It's just gorgeous. Oh, fantastic. Give that a second to cool and I'll be able to hold it up for you. I'm going to do the same for this one and we'll see the difference. If you're doing this for the first time, just do be careful that you don't accidentally touch it when you don't want to because when the when the jewel enamels are really hot, because you will, it is jolly painful. Okay. And that's creating dichroic, photochroic glass effects using jewel enamels and fusible film. <laughs>